The role of this paramotor toolkit isn't to fix everything on the engine, but rather to get you out of trouble if you are in the field and need to fix something. My previous toolkit was low on supplies, so I redesigned, and this is what I've ended up with. So I have these two Fly Products orange cases. The orange is important on these bags because if you drop it in a field, you'll find it. Green is not okay, red is okay, but green is not okay. I've separated my toolkit into actual tools for working on the paramotor and spare parts slash repair pieces. This is the tools. So this is my favorite screwdriver. I got it for my birthday or something. I really like that it's got this small flathead bit for adjusting carburetors and it's kind of like Russian nesting dolls. Next, flush cut snips. These are super good on zip dies. They don't leave a sharp edge and they're good for cutting throttle cable and anything else that needs snipping. Wrenches. The Moster 185 that I fly primarily uses 10, 13, and eight millimeter bolts. I bought these speed wrenches at Harbor Freight that have the pivoting end, and these are way easier to use than a normal wrench. I also have this combination 8 and 10 millimeter standard box end wrench that came in the Fly Products toolkit in case somebody tries to steal my other 10 millimeter wrench. Spark plug wrench also came from the Fly Products toolkit. I really like this one because it packs smaller than most other spark plug wrenches. Needle nose pliers are extremely important for grabbing small things, and these ones are really narrow at the tip. Narrower, the better. This screwdriver also came in the Fly Products Toolkit. I don't really need it for anything, but an extra screwdriver never hurt anyone. These pliers belong to my father. I owe you a pair of these, Dad, or I'll send you these back. They might have been your dad's. These are really nice for working on a paramotor, especially because they have the small bevel at the end and they allow you to get around corners. Slip joint feature is also nice. Allen keys. Most things on a paramotor are secured with Allen keys. You're definitely going to need a 5mm, maybe a 4, maybe a 1.5 for your throttle, maybe a 6mm, but 5 is the most important. I keep two 5mm Allen keys in case somebody steals one, or I lose one, I always have a backup. Definitely going to want a knife, doesn't matter if it's a pocket knife, as long as it's something sharp. I picked this up at Harbor Freight for less than a dollar, this will last me until the end of time. This second pouch consists of things to make repairs to the paramotor, like tape, glue, and zip ties. We'll start with the band-aids, of course. If you get cut and your finger's leaking, you can stop a minor cut with a band-aid. Zip ties are an essential and no-brainer. I prefer the metal shank ones, but these ones will do as well. Next is the super glue. It's very important that you get the liquid kind, not the gel, liquid. To supplement the super glue for repairs, I have Cubond. Cubond will serve as the repair medium. Super glue will hold it together. Gel super glue does not seep into Cubond at all and will not make the repair. To finish off your repairs with the Cubond, I like to pack a nail file. Nail file is the most efficient way to bring some sort of sanding technology on your adventures. A piece of glider line might not be a bad idea. It's probably the strongest string you can get. Rubber gloves are never a bad idea whether you're just working on your motor and don't want to get dirty, or there's some kind of medical thing going on, never a bad idea to have a few pairs of rubber gloves. Tape. Get the good tape. Gorilla Tape. Not the Walmart brand, not the Harbor Freight brand, not even the Duck brand. Gorilla Black Tape. And, and don't take the whole roll. Extra spark plugs. Spark plugs are the number one thing to fail on paramotors. Nine times out of 10, your problems can be solved by replacing the spark plug. So I always carry two fresh ones, cheap and effective. Super 33 electrical tape. By God, you can fix anything with this stuff. Not the Walmart brand, not the knockoff crappy stuff. 3M Super 33 with the yellow inside. Super 88 is also acceptable. Dental floss. If you ever end up stuck in a tree, you can lower the 50 yards of dental floss down to your rescuers so you can pull a rope up and lower yourself down without endangering the lives of your rescuers. These little guys are called NARPs. They're used to put a stopper on a cable such as your throttle cable. Having a couple extra could save the day. Earplugs and safety pins. 
I don't know why I need the safety pins. I just put them there so I don't forget where they are. And it's a nice little case to hold an extra pair of earplugs in case you need some other kind of hearing protection. A spare throttle cable. I soldered the ends so they won't unravel. In case my throttle cable ever breaks, I can replace it with this. And finally, two black trash bags. In case it starts raining, I can cover my engine and harness, or I can stuff my wing inside of one if I land out. There will be Amazon affiliate links to most of these parts in the description below, or at least some kind of Amazon equivalent. By buying parts through these links, you are supporting me, which in turn supports me making these videos.